welcome back Troglodytes to another episode of Troglodytes Guitars. Today we got another one of these Derek Trucks SGs. I know I just reviewed one of these uh, about a week or so ago, but I got another one in so we're going to show off the condition of this one. Uh, what kind of makes this one unique is this is the, you know, most beautiful wood grain one I think I've had. There's a lot of, you know, long runs on the side. Uh, especially right here there's kind of like the eye of the wood so this is probably one of my favorite looking Derek trucks SGs and it's also one of the heaviest uh, we'll see the weight a little bit later on here but the body's nice and heavy and what that kind of is good for is it kind of fights neck dive that SGs are pretty well known for so when you have them on their strap this one's not gonna go whoop on you it's gonna stay put just like a Les Paul so it's kind of a pro for that, but you know, if you got a weak back and you only like, you know, under seven pounds, then it's not so good. But once again, uh, Derek's Trex SGs, they were uh, produced, I think it was 2012 through around 2015. The earlier ones had no sign of Derek Trucks name at all. The little later ones, they did get the uh, signature on the truss rod cover, but these are essentially a, uh, a 61 reissue in a way. They have the stock ABR1 bridge, so these are a great way to get into an ABR1 Gibson if uh, you don't necessarily have the budget for a historic. This one's currently set up as a, a wrap tail piece. It kind of makes the strings a little easier to bend, and it kind of makes it look like the strings are coming from this tail piece, Vibrola tail piece there. Right, the headstock on this one's in pretty good shape. You can see you have some light wear and tear from string changes and whatnot, but overall nothing too incredibly bad. You've got your Gibson logo and the crown, mother of pearl logos there. Once again, the truss rod cover with Derek's signature on it. Now this is a very nice dark rosewood example. Some of these can be a little bit lighter rosewood colored, but this one is definitely a nice dark color and I've just oiled it and everything as well. So that's good to go. Uh, definitely a slim 60s. However, this one's got a little bit more to it. Like usually when I think, you know, super thin 60s, I think, super thin like you can just clasp it and it feels very thin this one it's thin but it feels a little bit wider at the back so it's not super pencil thin I kind of like the way this one feels it's a little bit more fuller feeling it almost feels a little bit more D like in shape than a uh, C it's got a little bit more shoulders to it so this is definitely a pretty unique Derek Trucks SG here you have your stock 57 classics in here, which are awesome pickups. Uh, the, what you're seeing there is just my hand from being there. It's uh, heat and moisture that won't be there. But beautiful chrome hardware, Once again, ABR1 bridge, traditional tailpiece, and you have this uh, fake Vibrola plate on here. It's mainly just for the blings. It says Gibson on it. It's, it really is fancy. Uh, the only thing that really differentiates this guitar from uh, other SGs is there's no pick guard as well. But I have seen some people drill pick guards for these, but this one hasn't had any of that. Now you do have some light wear and tear here, uh, just mainly string change and uh, you know, picking swirls, polish swirls. Overall, I mean, this guitar is in good shape. Now, if you check out the listing, uh, the neck tenon for this guitar is a little bit more visible than normal. I mean, it's not been broken, it's not been repaired or anything. I'll have to add some photos here. But you can kind of see a the line where the tenon is on this side. I think um, there's just a little extra glue there or something. You can uh, see the photos and judge for yourself, but the neck is rock solid, nothing to worry about. It is the long neck tenon. Back of the headstock, you can see this is a 2014 model, so 140068. Looks like 69.4. Once again, 2014 Clusen Deluxe tuners. And uh, beautiful neck here. Just, you know, light handling wear and fingerprint smudges. But, I mean, this is a, an ice playing example. And once again, look, look at all this wood grain. I mean, it's not flamed or anything. It's just got a lot of nice mahogany wood grain to it. Now there were uh, some type of different buttons on this at one point in time, but the originals were in the case, so I went ahead and restored this guitar. You do have some light uh, buckle swirls, but nothing too incredibly bad on this one. I mean, it's definitely a clean guitar. 
Uh, if you polished it up real good, it could probably pass off as new, but it's definitely been played a little bit here and there. But definitely wasn't like a gigging guitar or anything like that. The electronics and everything are original as they should be. I mean, these are just a great value for an SG if you can pick these up under 1500 or so. I mean, they really are a nice SG. One weighs 7 pounds 14.2 ounces. This guitar does come with its original Gibson USA case. It's got some light wear and tear from storage, like some small scratches in this area, but overall nothing too bad. I think this handle has been replaced. It doesn't feel like any of the other ones I felt. I mean, it's very close. So if it's been replaced, it's a similar style. I'm not 100% sure on that, but all four latches are present and functioning. Uh, basically the only thing wrong with the case besides maybe the replaced handle is uh, the strap button here. It's kind of dirty and it kind of left a black mark on the case there. But other than that, you've got your typical glue staining around the sides and it's a little, there's a little bit of uh, some built up wear there, but there's a truss rod adjustment tool in there and some of the original owner's work. Uh, I don't think any of it was filled out at the factory, imagine that, but <laughs> at least you have some case candy. The cleans will be running through a Gibson Super Gold Tone GA30RV. The dirty tones come from a Marshall JMP1C. Oh, 
you might be interested in this Gibson Derrick Trucks SG, feel free to contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Trogleys, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. And don't forget to check out the eBay or Reverb listings. All right, Trogleys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.